What is up, people of YouTube? I'm an FS Beast. So, this video is a request on a broken game. I mean, it is broken because people complained a lot about this game back when it released, but looking back, this game, Need for Speed 2015, was pretty good. It had a lot of redeeming qualities the free updates, the cool car list, the customization, which which is pretty good. It laid the foundation for future titles in the Need for Speed series. And, uh, and in my opinion, one thing that, uh, that I'd love to point out is the rap editor. There's a bunch of decals which never appeared in future Need for Speed games. You have all these decals which were from like Need for Speed Carbon, Need for Speed Most Wanted, Need for Speed Pro Street, Undercover. And uh, yeah. It's pretty sad that they did never reappeared again. A lot of these decals. Back in the day when people were crying for a new Need for Speed Underground game, EA Ghost, the developers, uh, rest in peace EA Ghost, they developed this game and there was a there's a lot of criticism some which I understand, like the the terrible vehicle handling and the always online connectivity requirements, which those were huge, huge bothersome. Like I was bothered by them immensely. But there's other areas of criticism which I don't really under understand. Like people were crying for a new underground type game, so. These same people, or whoever, their viewers, yeah, they complained about the the game having a nighttime only, which I don't understand because Need for Speed Underground One and Need for Speed Underground Two both had nighttime restrictions as well, and they didn't get criticism. Why this game? And uh, it just doesn't make sense, like. There's a bunch of criticism for this game that I don't understand. Another one was like the lack of a cockpit view, like the ability to see inside your car and while you're driving. Uh, to be honest, I don't know if that would fit with this game, but that's just my opinion. Oh yeah, there's another customization. Um, well, there's a flaw with the customization in which a lot of cars, not a lot, but some cars barely had any customization. Like this Camaro, for example. It doesn't have any bumpers or fenders, which is pretty sad. At least that was fixed in Payback and uh, Heat. But um, I really loved the customization because uh, if you see the, for example, the license plate, yeah, that's probably one of my favorites. Uh, the backgrounds, yeah, this explains the the past Need for Speed games, like an Easter egg. But it also c confirms the fact that. This game takes place in the same universe as all those past games that we love. And it just um, breaks my heart that a lot of these license plates never returned for like Payback and Heat, the future games. I'm going to take this Camaro out for a drive and I'm going to see what I can do with this beautiful car. I customized it yesterday. That was a pretty nice feature. You can shut down the car engine while you're in a pursu uh, pursuit cooldown, but it takes time to start up again. There's a cop. That was way too close.
the lack of a pause button was a uh, inconvenience. But to be fair, in my opinion, um, Need for Speed Rivals didn't even have a pause button either. Okay, what event are we gonna do now? Yeah, I remembered I played this game a long time ago, like 2015, when it came out. It's crazy how time flies so fast. Oh yeah, you can teleport on this map. Need for Speed Heat didn't allow you to do that, only on the garages. Which is ridiculous. The Ventura Bay map, yeah, this game takes place in Ventura, Ventura Bay. Um. Ventura Bay was very beautiful, like, you have this urban area, oh my god, those buildings are beautiful. And uh, you have the mountains, which look like something from Initial D, that the popular car racing anime series, anime and manga series, Initial D. And, uh, yeah, I love the map. Beautiful. Alright, let's start. Circuit dust off, race to the finish line. I remember when I was playing this game, Need for Speed 2015, there was a, like a crash camera, which was in the previous games, and honestly I, I, I despise the crash camera. Oh no, there's a car! Oh yeah, the, the cops in Need for Speed 2015 were notoriously awful. They wouldn't even be able to chase you, and if, even if they could, they were, the AI was just way too dumb. There was a news article on uh, Need for Speed 2015 that said that this game was like a game, like, like a reboot that needed a reboot. Oops. Wait, who's he chasing? That cop. Event and earned eight thousand dollars. I wasn't really keen on the whole social aspect of this game. If you know me, I'm more of a single player type of Need for Speed player. Like when it comes to Need for Speed, I'm single player, strictly single player. Well, not strictly, but if I'm with my friends, that's okay. But um, the whole like rap editor, like. Social thing. Not much people like the raps. 
And, uh, what else? Oh yeah, the, the justification for the online restriction was because of the snapshots. And I, I hate the snapshots because, honestly, I never had any snapshots that people liked. There's a Hot Wheels promotion in this game. Or sponsorship, yeah. And what angered me was the fact that in Hot Wheels, um, in Need for Speed No Limits, you could drive two Hot Wheels cars. The Time Taxi and the... What was it called? Gazella GT. I was just upset that you can't drive those in this game. Well, I'll just, I'll just play the phone. Pretty nice feature. I think Heat... I think Heat had that, yeah. But it was different. Alright, time for another event. The live action cutscenes, I liked them. People didn't like them, but I did because I guess a lot of ton like a, a tons of effort was put into them. It seems like with all the cool characters of that team: Spike, Amy, Lily, Travis. They were good characters in the game. Anyway, I like the story of the years because of it too. It was, it was different than the usual dark and the edgy and the hyper So uh, yeah, this was my revisit of Need for Speed Test 15. 
if you enjoyed, be sure to drop a big like and consider subscribing if you want to support this channel. My name is Edifice Beast, and peace out.